Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet. My name is Mary. I'm coming to you live, 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 a little bit late today. What time is it? Oh dear, <laughs> 15 minutes late nearly. Oh, it happens. <laughs> it happens. Don't stress. <laughs> Don't stress. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we don't have anyone here yet. We'll just take a few seconds to breathe. I'm looking at our finished project up here. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello, Mary Wanamaker. I hope you are well. Let's have a little bit of a flick. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> I know we haven't done much since Wednesday. I do apologize, guys. Hello, Maggie. Hope you are well. And Margaret Bailey, I hope you are both well. Oh, very nice to have everyone here today. Once again, thank you for the thumbs up already. Oh, so thoughtful, so thoughtful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I can't complain. Oh, I've been a little bit busy. I'm still looking at me. I just got out of the shower. I don't tell anybody. At least I'm clean, right? <laughs> I'm running so late again. <sighs> Saturday mornings. You know why I get late Saturday mornings? Because I sit. I wake up pretty early. It sounds weird. And I'll sit down and I'll just crochet quietly. It's my quiet time, you know. <laughs> Nobody's awake. It's just me, me, me. <laughs> and I take advantage of that me, me, me. <laughs> and I just do some, what I like to call relaxing crochet. Crochet that you're not doing for anything really. However, late last night, I was doing some crochet for uh, a friend already. I've started on some personal projects um and a coffee right i've got my coffee yeah of course hey <laughs> uh yeah of course maggie wouldn't do anything without it these days um <laughs> uh, i do the same thing in the morning yes yeah, beautiful and quiet i love the quiet good morning mary and good morning kaz to you as well oh dear 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 now i wanted to talk about quite a few things hello brenda i hope you are well lovely to see you here um <laughs> quite a few things we need to discuss today i know right but you know what we're, we're relaxed take it easy don't rush too much into it <laughs> we're not going anywhere um let's have a drink cheers to everyone i've got kitty cuppy today it's either puppy cuppy or kitty cuppy it's not for any reason i just you know like both cups <laughs> cheers mm. guys lots to discuss today i know but more importantly we have finished Oh my gosh, we've finished the crochet necklace. It's done. It's buttoned. It's all. Oh, it has to be washed. I will wash and block it. I've noticed it does gently, it's a very gentle buckle right here. Maybe we could have done with it losing that extra stitch in the points. There you've got your points there, sorry. You've got one point there, one point there, and one in the middle. And right in that middle section there, it kind of buckles a little bit. But I think a good washing and blocking um, could fix it. And also... <laughs> We've got a lot of heavy stuff on it now because we've got the eye, we've got the cat. Okay, the cat wasn't the best cat in the world. <laughs> I have a story about it, trying to create a cat when I was in kindergarten, right? It's funny what you remember. In a kindergarten, if anyone wants to know overseas, it's like a preschool before school. You can't go anywhere to school unless you've been to kindergarten. You don't have to. I don't think it's compulsory. I think four-year-old kindergarten is kind of mandatory. A lot of people don't do it and they should. Um, it's good for child to, you know, socialise. But I had to create a, I had to draw a painting or a picture of a cat in um, kindergarten. And everybody, you know, sat there and they drew some ears and eyes and a mouth. And all I had was this like squiggle thing. And I had a tail. Come on, the cat had a tail, all right? He just didn't have a face or eyes or mouths or anything. So I had this like vivid memory about not being able to make a cat <laughs> some things never change <laughs> so it wasn't the best cat in the world but I do like my bat mm -hmm. I like my bat he's cute now he's cute he didn't get many views though <laughs> I thought of all things he would get a view <laughs> and that ugly cat got more views oh did I say ugly oh that poor cat I, I, he's not that he's not the prettiest cat in the world I mean look at him he looks more like a monster cross between a bat a cat and a monster from like I don't know some alien from you know Mars or something <laughs> or some green some little green mind you I do like little green aliens <laughs> don't tell anyone but they're cute 
Um, so anyway, it didn't. It wasn't the best cat in the world, but I do like the bat. <laughs> no right. I do. We're all laughing, aren't we, Mary? <laughs> uh, I'm not talking to myself, guys. Mary, one of makers there. <laughs> if you want to know. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, so <laughs> the cat was not. I mean, he's, even though he was not fantastic, it kind of sticks out a little bit. Let's bring it down a bit. The bat is so dark that he's hard to tell. But I. <laughs> I like the little green men there, Mary. <laughs> he's so dark that it's hard to tell that he's actually even a bat. <laughs> but there you go. The bat was very quick to make, uh, easy. I kept it basic. The only difficult part was, you know, sewing it to the piece. I mean, you know, that's what it's all about, really. We have to, we have to play the game. <laughs> the cat, not so much. He's not that cute. <laughs> Stop lying, Mary. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to talk about um, Fiber Spider's Kaleidoscope blanket today that I've been trying to get in touch with him. I'm not getting any answers. <laughs> I'm just leaving it. But I am creating it for my friends, my son's friend. I have to start the blanket. Otherwise, I'll never get it done. Good morning, Leslie. I'll never get it done before Christmas. I'm not, I'm not in love with the colours. I love, you know, as you know, I love my reds. But I'm not really in love with that. Mm, I, I don't know yet. I'm just going to keep going anyway. I'm going to try and make it darker. Maybe um, the further into it you get, you can add extra. I mean, I can add extra red rose to make it more redder, if you will. Or I could consider taking... Oh, I've already weaved in these ends. Can you believe it? Um, you like the design. This is the um, kaleidoscope design. There's actually another name. Sticky Stitch knew the name, actually. Um, what was it called? Well, let's just stick to Kaleidoscope for now. And um, I like Fiber Spider's version of it. So I made his... I still can't find that. I don't know if I've sold it already. I made his version a few years back. And um, if I do find it, I'll try on Wednesday's live to show you, maybe next Saturday. Um, if not, by next Saturday, this will be half done. <laughs> Because, um, oh, it's because it's wool. I'm very itchy. Oh, we're started. <laughs> well, you know me and my reds, Kaz. I am, um, you know, I love my 80s reds. So I wasn't, when when he, when he got on and said, my cousin loves reds, I went, oh, fantastic. I was so excited. I like Fiber Spider. He has some beautiful pieces. And he does. And this one here caught my eye a few years ago. I think it was three years ago when he first bought it out. Um, hi, Sticky Stitch. That's right. The square diamond shape. Thank you, Sticky Stitch. I knew you knew. <laughs> um, and it caught my eye a few years ago and I was adamant to make one. Oh, I like the colour suggest introducing a darker beige, brown or another layer. I was thinking of popping in a maroon because the fella likes more reds. Um, my favourite is the glorious Granny Stitch. I haven't tried anything else from him. I've just done this one. Um, I'm sorry, there was another thing. Oh, what was it called? When I remember what it was called, I'll tell you, it was just all diamonds and stuff. It's, you'll, you'll see it. You'll know it when you see it. Um, yeah, he's, he's got some amazing stuff. Are you, you're thinking, who said that, Mary? Mary, want to make it? No, Kaz agrees on the dark cup around. Uh, good morning, uh, binary and non-binary peeps. <laughs> sticky Stitch. <laughs> just like Sticky Stitch. <laughs> all right so that's it i just wanted to say that i started the blanket to, that's something that's going to hold me up over the next few weeks so bear with me guys i still will get everything as much as i can out um we're definitely getting part five what <laughs> of um our poncho this monday or tuesday coming so it will be there guys just you know bear with me let me pop that over there how's that see it better yeah just bear with me guys it's just a little bit slower these days but everything's still going up things will go up they'll just go up a little slower than normal um and what else was i going to say what else i'm trying still trying to get used to these lights oh and wednesday's um live wednesday afternoon's live when someone said to me oh we think that your camera lens was dirty that's why you had a bit of shadowing there was a little dot right on the lens right on the camera part where there's like a little dot that you look at to right now I'm looking at it so I'm directly looking at that little dot that literally records you right on that dot there was a dot <laughs> something I don't know whether it was I don't know what it was it was dirt but it was sitting right on the dot <laughs> and that's what was causing the shadowing on the on the sides good morning Kathy I hope you are well <laughs> all right so 
what are we going to talk about today? Lots and lots of things, guys. I don't even know if I'm going to remember everything. I've got my book and my paperwork here, just in case I forget. <laughs> but I had to write everything down, um, yarn fuzz. No, it wasn't. It was something stuck to the camera. So it could have been anything. But I wiped it off with water. I didn't even think about it until like the day later, right? Um, and then someone got on and says probably dirt. And someone else mentioned to me it was dirt. People at home were saying it's probably dirt. And I thought, oh, it's probably dirt. And that, all that time I'm talking about it. And I never looked at it. <laughs> and then I think it was only Thursday night, late Thursday night. I thought, let's have a look to see if there is dirt here. And there was. It was a, like a little dot sitting right on the recording part. <laughs> and the worst part is I had recorded um, part of the back with it on there as well. <laughs> So there you go. And so you'll notice in the back tutorial, some of it's shadowy and some of it's normal, really bright, because I recorded it and then I recorded the rest the next day after I'd cleaned it. So there you go. <laughs> and with the back, I recorded in, in different parts because I had actually, because it's so small and I knew the black was so much to look, it's really hard to look at black at the best times, let alone a four ply back. Um, four ply back, a four ply black, can't get on, it's all tongue twisting now, um, let alone a four ply black, uh, which is very thin yarn for over those of you overseas, it's like a two, a number two yarn, um, and it's black, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it off air, and then do, I think I did a green one, no, it was purple, and I make a very thick purple one with a five millimeter hook, just so that you guys can see the stitches, and um, so I actually had done part of the, the the cat, left one eye so that I can show you guys how to do an eye so that I can speed up the recording process. I made it the night before sort of thing. And then I recorded the purple one the next day. So it was all over the place and I was recording everywhere. That's why I put a bit of, you know, writing up inside the um, actual tutorial. I hadn't left anything out. I've just recorded it in different colours. <laughs> so you had the back in the purple and then you had the eye in in the back, the, the normal colour black, and then you had the actual sewing to the piece of the normal colour black. So, yeah, it's one of those things. Um, I have to sit under the light when using dark yarns. Look, I um, my eyes have been struggling a lot lately, and um, nothing's open, I just, so I don't really want to... Because a lot of people are doing these things where you can pick your glasses. I don't know if you've ever seen them. You can pick your lens glasses online, and then you go over to the shop, and then you purchase it that way. <laughs> and I thought, well, I haven't even had my eyes checked, let alone get glasses. But I do need glasses because I've been using those, you know, the chemist ones you buy. I've been using those and I am so struggling at the best of times with the normal yarn, let alone anything dark and anything thin. So, yeah, I am struggling. <laughs> but, you know, it's all good. It happens. So I've got to get glasses soon, but I'm waiting for all the shops and everything to open. <laughs> And they probably won't even let me try them on either anyway. <laughs> We're not at that stage yet. Look, I'll stick to the chemist glasses while I'm waiting. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Mm. So um, let's talk about our Halloween projects first. Just to let you know, that is now done. Okay. For those of you who have um, uh, joined us new this week, firstly, welcome. I know we've had a few people join this week. Some people that I know as well. Some people that I don't know. So welcome. Welcome, everyone. Just to let you know that our Halloween projects are a part of... Um, you can go for an eye exam and then order glasses online. See, that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to order online. You can go for the optometrist. I've gone. Just make an appointment. I'm, well, going to the optometrist is not the problem. It's getting the glasses. I think they don't want you trying them on or something. Look, I'm not going to worry about that yet. <laughs> I've been using the chemist glasses right now. Uh, oh, you've gone to Specsavers, have you? <laughs> um, they have websites that you upload a photo of you. and see. Look, it's not the photo. I've got a problem with my nose, as you can probably tell. Um, when I was young, it was broken across there. I fell and I hit a, a chair and it was broken right across the top. It never got repaired. So every time someone touches it or it gets knocked, I, you know, I'm in pain. So when I wear glasses, even when I win those when I wear the chemist ones, after about half an hour, I'm in pain. I start getting a headache. <laughs> my, it hurts my nose, a sinus, everything. It just blows up. And so I take them off so I can only work for a short amount of time. So it's, I'm rushing to get everything done. 
<laughs> so I don't have to wear the glasses. <laughs> but it's not that. It's that I need to check. They have to be the lightest frame. They have to be a certain design. The Italian nose. Yeah, I have it too. It's the Italian nose. But it's also, I smashed it when I was young. I smashed it. Hence the word smash. Such a terrible word, isn't it? I fell over at a bus stop <laughs> and, and hit it at a, um, there was a massive log and just landed straight into the log. And like for days, this thing was just nonstop bleeding, weeks, I think even. <laughs> on and off not every day not all day <laughs> and it was just in a lot of pain and it never it never got repaired so there you go um i'm gonna use larger yarn and hooks so my bags will be bigger oh that's a good idea and put two together for halloween decoration for my doors and windows oh that's a really good idea paula um bats it bags bats oh yeah i know what you meant yeah i knew what you meant <laughs> um there you go so for those of you joining you, I got sidetracked. I do all the time. For those of you that's joining you, we have started, we started you and we made this little spider web coaster because that's going to be for our, our nice red glass of something <laughs> that we're going to have. And I'll talk about when and why. And that's our beanie. Huh? Look at that. Well, that's the four ply. I did one in four ply and then I did one in eight ply. The tutorial I did in eight ply, I thought I was being um smart doing it in eight ply but then i forgot about the sizes of the stitches so i had to change the sizes of the stitches these are like um i don't know they're double treble or something and these are just trebles i think and half trebles and things so i had to change the size of the stitches to suit the tutorial which took a long time <laughs> forgot all about the sizes um so there you go those two are done your necklace is done your very next project get this guys is oh, get excited it's the top we are making but it's not going to be a normal top it's going to be a really large lacy big large gaps because i haven't got time to do a nice sweet well you know something like this i don't have time for that <laughs> i've got too much on my plate i will however say that it'll be in eight ply black which is a number three overseas um there will be some red i think i haven't decided yet i haven't really designed it <laughs> But it's such an easy top. It'll just be laces all over the place. It won't be that hard. So there you go. <clears throat> and that's coming up this week. <laughs> we probably won't get it done this week. But I'll get you started. And you can head off on your own um, and do it at your own pace. Or we might be able to get it finished, depending on how quickly we are. Um, uh, totes excited for the top. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so um, the top, look, if you dress it up as well, by the way, um, you could actually use it for something else as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to be for Halloween. You can use it as an open lace top on uh, like a T-shirt, like a T-shirt there. And I don't like wearing T-shirts when I'm out. It's kind of more of a home thing. Um, but if you wanted to wear a T-shirt, you couldn't just pop that lace top over it. And it dresses up your T-shirt. So, you know, you can wear it for other things. It doesn't necessarily have to be for Halloween. It's just because we're doing a Halloween themed item that I'm making the top. Now, <laughs> talking about Halloween, once all those projects are made, by the way, we are going to be making a small trick-or-treat bag. That's going to be the shortest video ever. It will be a basic stitch. I'm not going to fuss. There's going to be nothing fancy about it. I might pop a little, you know, pumpkin thing on it or something, but it's not going to be fancy. It's just basic, yeah? Um, so we'll be making one of those because I know that um it's a part of it all and plus i could keep my goodies in there while i'm doing my <gasps> story time i know we are doing a halloween party what's it called what i call it a halloween story time party themed tutorial it's not a tutorial it's a video it's a fun video um it's going to be involved it's going to involve crochet related story time just so you have a heads up you don't sit there and think Oh, when we get on there, there's going to be flying bats and things. That's not going to happen. Having said that, there's going to be discussions about them. <laughs> Using crochet um, jargon, if you will. So you'll hear a lot of double crochets or you'll hear some, I don't know, I'm trying to think of things that I wrote now. I've written so much, but they're all in like point forms. And now I've got to get together and just pop it into a, a little story. And whilst I am recording some of those Things that you see there when I say go ahead and finish this row and I stop the recording I sit back and I read some of it to myself because I'm trying to remember it's so hard to remember something that's not um, 
oh, how do I explain it? That's not what you do. Like I don't read stories. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit of fun. Adult stories. So don't, you know, don't let children read. Watch, we shouldn't be letting children watch our um, videos anyway, but I'm just, heads up. It's not for children. <laughs> Cheers, by the way. Nothing bad, but it's just not for children, yeah? Oh. Plus, my son has organised um, the music for um, the um, story time. So it's really quite spooky. Lots of fun stuff in the background. And you hear, yours, yours truly has put a two bob in it. <laughs> in the music so at first we did something and he went oh no mum that's a bit boring so then I did something that I did when I was younger and he says oh my gosh that is so much fun you have to leave that in so we kind of got together we kind of did the music together really if you think about it he did a lot of the hard stuff obviously because I don't know how to mix music um but I did pop in my two bob <laughs> so that will be coming up um <clears throat> yeah it'll be fun look you know it's not something oh okay let's, let's go down god miss some stuff here it's not something i usually do i do a lot of comedy as you know i love to do lots of fun i am also doing a new um oh what's it called challenge if you will um it's going to be you know the way i weave in my ends remember i did the russian join challenge for those of you who haven't seen that, check that out. Um, oh, it was done quite a while back. So you can probably look at some of our bloopers and funny video things. There's a little playlist of that. It'll be in there. Um, I did that a while ago. Now I'm going to do the challenge on my weaving in. For those of you who know I'm so pedantic about weaving in those ends, if you're joining us new and you're not sure about that, I am so fussy. <laughs> um, hello, Cheryl. Hello, hello. Um, oh, yeah, it's an evening over there. It's morning here, Cheryl and Melbourne. Um, nice to be here again. Nice to have you, Cheryl. <laughs> Welcome us. We're, we've um, already been on for about 22 minutes, so there you go. I was on a bit late. My apologies. Um, you should do a phone case. You're so... Uh, you should do a phone case. You're so beautiful. They're beautiful phone cases. Oh, I thought about doing it. I do like... To, I do want to do a phone stand eventually. Where you pop your phone in so that you can it can sit there while you're working away you can watch all your youtube videos <laughs> or you can watch your favorite music videos or your funny cat videos or your funny puppy videos or whatever <laughs> and i do want to do one of those so that's coming up it may not be until closer to christmas it'll be it's something you can give to someone as a christmas gift so you know especially around this time where buying things is really difficult um that would be pretty i have one it it's it works oh really <laughs> that's good as long as it works um my son loves the phone stand yeah i might make one it's like a it's I, you may have seen them i don't know whether i can work the squishy out the squishy part out <laughs> i've got all that fluff stuff that you can put in there but i want to make it so that it sits you know like that and it's got a little groove where you can just stick your phone in there and it sits while you're working away but that'll be closer towards Christmas because I have to have a play with it. I've never done one. <laughs> Notice how I just invent this stuff. Oh, what can happen? I can mess it up. <laughs> I mean, look, when you know your craft, all these other little niggly things, they sometimes fit into your craft. Sometimes they don't. Like that cat. <laughs> um, I found some. Oh, there are some on YouTube, are there? Oh, okay. Look, I don't know whether to do a, a YouTube video on it. I'll think about it. We'll see how we go. Um, if I do, it'll be my own creation. It'll be something weird. <laughs> they are easy to make, but, you know, me, I like to <laughs> do something fussy. I'm, I'm very fussy, aren't I? Um, also, as I said before, there will be that challenge coming up. So be prepared. I may steal my son for that challenge and make him be in the video. Shall I do that? <laughs> I said, look, I've already done the last challenge I did. I used the washing machine, the dryer, the car. I rode over the project with a car. <laughs> I drove over, I got in the car, you saw me doing it. Cheryl, sorry, I misspelled your name. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure she doesn't mind. <laughs> um, so I drove over with the car. So I'm thinking, what else can I do to my project to give it some wear and tear so that when my ends that are so tightly sewn in, so fussy that I am, get a proper beating? So I thought to my son, what can we do? I'm sure you, he says, I'm not doing anything for you, mum. I'm doing your music, that's it. I said, oh, come on. You've done acting before. We can do this. 
<laughs> so poor boy, I'm going to take him out and make him work for me. He's going to be my little actor. So he will be in that video. <laughs> and you'll get to see the fella and maybe hear him. I don't know whether we'll leave the, um, the voice on. I found it a lot more fun to have the music in the background and just have some words popping up. And it's just a little bit of fun. You're not hearing anybody talk. But we'll see. You know, he, if he... Because he's very funny, my son. <laughs> it's like we call him the mini Jerry Lewis because it's just so funny. <laughs> he does... Um, oh, if you remember the Jerry Lewis movie where he was the in the boxing ring and he was bouncing around. Oh, my son does that to a T. <laughs> um, and when he did productions during his school years... He was always the funny one. They always gave him a funny role because he was funny. Except when he played um, Oliver in Oliver Twist. So um, he's very good at what he does. He's a music orientated. He sings. Oh, and Handsome too. Thank you, Paul. I'll tell him you said that. <laughs> He'll say, I'm oh, not another one of your subscribers, Mum. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, but he, I'm going to get him to help me do that video. He doesn't know it yet. No, he does. I asked him once, I said, do you think you can help me with one of the videos? And he did say, look, I do your music. What do you want? I said, I need some acting skills. I'm not an actress. I'm just me. <laughs> I need some funny acting skills. He says, oh, I'll think about it. Oh, I'll think about it. I'll just pull him by the ears and drag him out the front yard and make him act. <laughs> As you do. Don't forget the thumbs up. Thank you, Kaz. Don't forget. I'm getting some thumbs up already. Thank you, Kaz. Um, so I will be dragging my poor son. <laughs> I have to admit, he's um, he's been extremely busy late of late. He's been doing his work that he teaches. He teaches music, as you know. Um, he creates for me as well all the time. I pay him that. He creates. I do. I know. It's, I, look, I know I have to pay him because I'm taking him away from his professional jobs that he could be doing a professional job and earning a gazillion amount of dollars. And I mean, I wouldn't pay him a lot, but I pay him something to. You know, because it's not fair on him yet. So anyway, and he's also doing a massive project with um, another fellow at the moment as well. So he's always got the music blaring and like sometimes we hear music we've never heard before in there. And I said, hmm, is he changing his music <laughs> taste? But he's not. It's because he's creating, creating for people who want that kind of music. And that's sometimes what you need to do with your crochet. Sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone and create things you don't really want to create. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this poncho. I love the poncho, don't get me wrong. It's the colours I don't love. <laughs> I'm still going back to the pink. I'm not, I'm not a pink fan. But it does look all right and I think... That one row of pink, notice how I only give them one row. I still haven't used the dark, see the dark green? I still haven't used the dark green in um, our next step to the poncho. So what I've been doing, I've actually been playing with some patterns and I've actually changed the style a little bit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Before I upload it, before I do anything, I'm going to be careful because the last time I tried to change the pattern here, I ended up messing up my corners. So hopefully you haven't messed up your corner like I did. I do explain how to fudge it. And I know that some people have already finished. They've gotten to this part. So obviously their corners weren't messed up <laughs> like mine was. So um, I think changing a pattern can sometimes sting you a little bit. So you've got to be careful when you're working. Just being careful to stick to a design. Like the pattern, it's my own stuff. This is... When, when I say it's my own stuff, these patterns you can find in every book, it's putting them all together that makes it your own. Like um, everybody knows how to do a double crochet, right? So you can't call that your own. But if you pop a double crochet in a certain style, it's your own, okay? So that's what I mean by my own pattern. <laughs> but, you know, the colours, they just stung me a little bit. But, you know, it's okay. For once... In how long since I've been crocheting? I was going to say, oh my God, oh, that's a hundred years, yeah? Let's say 30 something years, first time ever I've stepped out of my comfort zone and used something I didn't like. There are times when I make, create for other people and they say, give me a green, white, and pink with purple spots, whatever. <laughs> I do it because I have to. But if I'm creating for me, never would I use a color that I don't want. 
and never have I done it. This is the first time. So you guys out there in YouTube land are seeing me step out of my, oh, I don't know what you want to call it, OCD, crochet OCD world, and create something that was not what I would usually wear. I mean, I would wear ponchos. I just wouldn't wear them in those colours. Having said that, I'm really enjoying making it. <laughs> We've got the last set to go, which will take you, it'll take you really low, right? So that's going to take a little while to pop up. As I say, Monday, Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday. Don't even, you know, quote me on it. I couldn't give you an exact date because I haven't started, as you can see. <laughs> I've played with it. In fact, if you look carefully at the back, some stitching. Oh, you can't, I can turn this around, can't I? I forgot I can turn this one around. The blue one I can't turn around. Um, is it there? Oh, no, it was the other way, after all that. Hello, wake up, Mary. There it is. I started, I've got a row of, of some uh, crochet there. I think I've taken, oh, she's dropped. Oh, oh don't look now. She's dropped. <laughs> See there, I started and then I stopped. I took it undone because I wasn't happy with the way it was turning out. So I have changed a little bit. Um, I, I tried to add in some solid stitch to close up. When I say close up, see how you've got your lovely gaps? I tried to make it more solid. Then I thought, will it pull a little bit? Will it drag it down a bit? But see, that's kind of what you want anyway with a poncho. You don't want it to be sticking out like that. Like this is kind of sticky outy at the moment. Oh, sticky outy. Is that a word? <laughs> Can I use that? Um, so what you want is you want to be able to, you want it to be able to drop now. Like it's hit, it's hit here and now it's going to go down. So it's going to tighten up a little, a little, not a lot. It won't like, you won't be like that. <laughs> like a mummy or anything um but it will tighten up a little with the tighter stitch so when i was doing it i found it was tightening up too much and i wasn't happy with it so i pulled it undone um you're so cute in the video <laughs> you're funny <laughs> so anyway that's what we're going to do with our poncho all right at this stage you're looking at monday tuesday wednesday those days that's all i'm not going to give you an exact date between those three days but definitely it'll come between those days because that's our next thing because that's the thing I'm working on all weekend. Apart from, obviously, my uh, friend's, my son's friend's blanket as well. Sticky outy is a word now. Oh, it is now. It's kind of a sticky outy <laughs> in your face kind of thing. It's a word. It's my word. <laughs> I made it up. Bad luck. <laughs> Actually, I've heard people say sticky outy before. I thought it was just me. <laughs> Apparently it's a... It's a thing. It's a thing. Oh, by the way, I broke my diet this week. When I say I broke my diet, I just, you know, I don't change my food habits. I just didn't walk much down the corridor. So I'm in trouble. And I did put on 400 grams. So I fell off the bandwagon a little bit. Uh, Mary's Dictionary. We'll call it Wow Crochet's Dictionary. <laughs> I have to have a drink. Mm. All right, so that's <clears throat> that's where we are with the poncho. That's where we are with the um, Halloween gear. We are now, so this week you will get, I'm trying to think of what's happening this week now, you will get that next part to your poncho and you will get, I'll put down the start of our um, Halloween top, whether we finish it. It's one of those things that because it's a lot of chains, you might get it finished in one little session. I might get it finished in one tutorial. See, it depends on how far into the tutorial I get. I record and then I check the timing of all the recordings. And if it's like an hour and a half, two hours, I can cut it down to 45 to 50 minutes. And that sounds weird, doesn't it? But there's a lot of from me in the background, that's all. <laughs> I know I can cut out like an hour if I wanted to. Isn't that amazing, right? And it goes to show how much I blabber in the <laughs> tutorials. Oh, it's far too much. Um, so I know I can cut a lot out. But if it's, oh, if it goes for two days in a row and I know there's an hour here and an hour and a half there and three here, I'm thinking there is no way I can cut that down. That's when I, I put them in two tutorials. So what I do is I spend one day just recording and then I'll record parts of that parts of the other thing and parts of that, which is why it takes sometimes a long time for me to say that's coming. Because if it's really good weather and it's the, the, the sun is perfect, I'll record that day. Now we've had some cloudy days this week, which has been annoying um, because 
getting photos is really difficult on a cloudy day. I'm trying to work with these lights that I use here. Um, I'm trying to work around using those instead. That way, because sometimes I don't upload just because I haven't got a proper photo. Video is done. And I'm thinking, waiting for a proper photo. Um, the tutorials are great. Oh, sometimes, Paula. <laughs> Not that cat one. <laughs> Funnily enough, it got a lot of views, but <laughs> it wasn't very good. Look, it wasn't the recording that was bad. It was that I'm not really good with... Uh, I'm not really good with uh, creating small things. It's, uh, you know, the, the fatty fingers and things. Oh, did I say, say that out loud? <laughs> it really is. It's short fingers, fatty fingers. So working on small projects, it's not my thing, which is the reason why I create big and I always create big. Like this particular... I'll show you again because everybody loves this top. Like this one here. Um, <clears throat> that was created with a, a large 5mm hook but the thread was quite thin so my hands they really struggle with thin projects and funnily enough I make a lot of thin stuff in the background um, and I've got I don't know if you could, my hand no it doesn't show you let's just move that over whoa that is this yarn here that's actually this color believe it or not um, that's this yarn here and I've got about five of those <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened? I bought, um, I think, two or three. No, I bought two ones and um, I got halfway through a project and I've left it somewhere. I, haven't, I don't even know where that is. But it hasn't been finished, so it's somewhere. And what I was doing was I was cutting all... I was cutting, I was making squares, right? And I was making squares out of all of it. The whole thing I was just making squares non-stop. And then I was getting the... You know how it changes into its colour? I was doing like a dark theme going into light. And I thought, no, no, I'll, I'll pop them all together and put light to theme to dark and, and pop them in the middle and make it look like there's like highlights of different colours. And then I lo locked it away somewhere and never did it. So I've got to find that <laughs> and do it. But I have, I started off with two of them. Then I bought one extra one to help with that project and I can't find the project so I never used it. Then uh, Frances, uh, my daughter, said to me, Mum, you know, Mother's Day or birthday, I can't remember what it was. One of the days were coming up, she says, what would you like? I said, I really like these. I love the colour change. You don't have to, you know, there's no cutting. I can, you know, no weaving in ends. It's great. And you get a fuss with some of the, um, the frayed ends sometimes because they get a little fray end in the middle. I'll explain that to you in a minute. Um, so you get a fuss with that. <clears throat> but there's no weaving of, in of ends. Um, so what I do is, hello, pumpkin. Who's pumpkin? Pumpkin. Hello, hello. Welcome. Um, so there's a lot of weaving and no weaving in ends. So I love those skeins. And what I do is, um, what I did was, I told her I love them, so she went out and bought me four. <laughs> so I've got six of them lying around. I don't know if I'm ever going to use them. Because this took weeks and weeks and weeks. I will use them because I love wearing it. And I don't break out in any rashes with it. So that's more the, it's more to the point. Um, so there you go. Anyway, oh, I'm just talking so much. I'm just, oh, it's going so much. That is the two main projects that you're going to get this week. However, um, I did mention to some of the newbies who are finding this difficult that we will be starting their poncho with just a granny stitch just to help out the newbies who are really struggling and said, look, I can't do it, but I've got all the squares. What am I going to do? So we're going to create a second poncho. So that won't happen now. It'll probably start towards end of week next week. And I'll just show you how to do a couple of rows. You head off on your own and you continue. It's just a two row. It might even be a one row repeat, but we'll see how I feel. Maybe I'll do a two row repeat. We'll see. Um, and then you head off on your own. And you do your rows. And then I'll meet you all back after we do part five <laughs> so that we can actually do um, a border to our poncho. Now, I've got to run. My husband need me to need me take care. Okay. Thank you, Blair, for joining us. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Blair, for joining us. Bye. We'll see you next time. Um, but, yeah, so that's what we are doing this week. Oh, and... The very end of this week, if I can get it all recorded in one tutorial, we will be doing the Redemption Beanie. Oh. <laughs> and so that is starting probably on Thursday or Friday of the week. We will be doing the beanie, which is a matching beanie to our Rustaman Vibrations Poncho. Now, uh, Rustaman Vibrations Poncho, as you know, the name was won by Sticky Stitch. 
So she has actually named our poncho. And the Redemption Beanie, the name was created by Kiki. And so she, um, that will be the name of the beanie. And so there you go. So we've had two winners here at Well Crochet for this series of um, crochet. So that's good. Now, keeping your eyes peeled again for small projects. Occasionally, I pop a stitch up. And I will be popping a few stitches up over the next few weeks. They will be small tutorials, just, you know, 10 or 15 minute worth, whatever, something really small. Have a practice of those stitches because I don't just put them up for fun. <laughs> Every time I put up a new stitch, it's because something is coming in the future. Get ready, guys. We are drawing very close to Christmas. <gasps> Already? Who saw 2020? It does not exist but I'm not letting it mess up my Christmas. <laughs> we are having Christmas, whether it likes it or not. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> so um, we will be doing quite a few Christmas projects coming up. So yeah, look forward to that, guys, and look forward to those stitches coming up over the next few weeks. Now, it's going to take about two weeks of introducing the stitches. There may be one one week, a couple of next week. The week after, we'll have three or four of them in there. Only because I want to get ready because we have to start those Christmas projects soon. Um, and also a couple of those stitches will have a lot to do with our uh, crochet rug that we're going to make here at Well Crochet. When I can get the 15 millimeter hook um, in, I have to see if maybe Unwind Craft Cafe might have one. I'll have a chat with them. We'll see. If they've got one. Um, I'll order through them. And of course, you know me, I'll probably order like you know, 10 kilos of yarn. <laughs> or 100 kilos of yarn. <laughs> They'll need a truck to back it in. <laughs> um, so we, we may have to um, we may have to get it from Unwind if they've got one. Last time I went, this was a long time ago before we were, you know, stuck indoors. Um, they didn't have one. They had a 12 millimetre. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. They could have got some in. It's been a long time since I've been to the shop. So there you go. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks, guys. So keep your eyes peeled. It's all coming. It's just a little bit slower now because Christmas is coming. Um, yeah, because I know, right? Because Christmas is coming, I have a lot of other projects in the back burner as well. As well as... <laughs> I'm getting very excited now. As well as introducing my patterns with the website. Look, I know I talk about this all the time. And in fact, I think I remember talking about the website nearly a year ago here. <laughs> More than a year ago because I know it was before Christmas of last year. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably like 18 months or something but I never did anything about it except now <laughs> I love the Christmas guy yeah except now um I am doing some Christmas gear this year and I am getting out the um website to um advertise get getting the Christmas gear out to advertise the website as well so it's all happening guys and whilst I'm doing that I have mm, pattern makers all over the place pattern makers I'm sorry Try pattern testers, pattern testers all over the place testing all my little patterns. Ooh. And they, oh, my goodness, so look at me shake now. Ooh. Um, so I'll be popping up a lot of my freebie patterns on the site, plus a couple of paid patterns. Hey, it's part of it all, really. Um, on the website to, um, you know, promote the website. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And I might do my couple of little small videos. I don't know how much I can upload on the website couple little small videos, a bit of fun videos for the site, just so people can come over and watch a bit of fun. It'll still be crochet related, but it'll be a bit of fun just to, you know, break the monotony of this boring world that we're living in currently. <laughs> this boring mundane life that we all live. <laughs> I like to actually um, promote a bit of happiness during some, you know, sad times. And I had a lot of friends at the moment are going through some trying times. So I'll probably be entertaining them more than anybody else, but it'll always be crochet related. Always crochet related. <laughs> um, and there you go. So it's going to be a very busy two months. What are we in now? Oh, is it September already? Oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. Oh, it's not even just September. It's into September. <laughs> Anyone know what date it is today? Um, my husband has been a professional Santa Claus for 17 years. No more Santa due to... Oh, I know. I know. No more cuddling. No more fussing. Oh, it's very difficult. And, you know, we're Italians. We can't, we can't go anywhere without, you know, touching and cuddling and smooching. All that stuff. We just... I don't know how we're doing it. 
<laughs> they talk about depression. Oh, Italians must be going into some severe depression, not being able to cuddle a Dutch or anything. <laughs> it's a good thing we can still talk with our hands. <laughs> if they chop those hands off, we're in trouble. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they are trying times right now. And we just take everything with a grain of salt. I know that... Um, so, so you're all aware that it's not easy even for me. I've lost like 40% of my sales for business. And, you know, it was bound to happen. It's like anybody that I know. I've had two friends um, lose their jobs. Um, I know two women who are close to losing their jobs. You know, it's it's really, really trying time. Our family is very affectionate too. Oh, look, you know, I'm hanging out to see my sisters and my daughter. I said the minute they say we're allowed to see that one extra person, like there's talk about having that one extra person come over. <gasps> the minute that happens, either I'm over there or she's over here and if we have to run in the middle and do that, you know that big, you know that, like, da 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 da, da. <laughs> Run in and clash and cuddle. <laughs> we're going to do that. <laughs> we might have to do it at home because we're not allowed to do that in public. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I can't wait for that. Very much touchy-feely kind of person. So I have missed out a lot over the past few months. <laughs> and even when I um, went to deliver the beanie last week, by the way, for those of you who don't know, I created the Father's Day beanie and it sold like that instantly. Uh, can't wait to see my grandchildren. I know, Mary, it's like, oh, gosh. <laughs> um, the lady I did that... The lady who bought it off me was, you know, willing to pay the price. She paid the price. But I knew her from way back. Like, I haven't seen her for a long time. Um, from way back when the kids were in high school. And so when I saw her, I said, I just want to give you a massive cuddle. We're both, you know, Europeans. So, so I just want to give you a massive cuddle. She goes, I know, right? <laughs> but we couldn't. And the fact that it was, she was in her driveway and I was just dropping off because you can't go in. You can't go into the house. You can't, like, yeah, drop off and run. That was it. <laughs> I couldn't even get any satisfaction out of that meeting. The fact that I saw someone human, that's always a good thing. <laughs> hey, humans, well, they still exist. <laughs> um, but, yeah, sitting, being able to go in and have a coffee and relax, it's very hard. Um, lucky my two granddaughters live with me. You are lucky, Cheryl. You're very lucky. I mean, my daughter, the, she only just bought a house with her partner uh, last November. When I say bought a house, you know, it's a mortgage, as you know. <laughs> and um, literally last November, and they were working on it and getting ready to move in. And then, of course, it was so far away, <laughs> which is the other side of Melbourne for me. So um, I can't get to see her until they allow us that extra person to visit, which I think is a couple of weeks or oh, maybe even a week away. <laughs> How we've waited so long. <laughs> Such a thrill, isn't it? <laughs> Our lives. We're excited to actually get that one extra person to visit. <laughs> what a funny life we're living in. Look, you know, I know it's short term. It's a long short term, but it is short term. We'll get through this. We have no choice. We have to. It's another thing to get through. Uh, that is a wonder. It is wonderful. She's very lucky, Cheryl. Cheryl, can I move in with you? <laughs> can I move in with anyone? <laughs> anyone? <laughs> you could do with some human faces. Look, I'm one person that doesn't like a lot of people in my face. I really don't. I'm not, I don't, well, I go to the city when I need to buy something and I can't stand having all these people come at me. But right now I could do with some people. Uh, my daughter and my granddaughter babies are coming in two weeks for a visit. Oh, you're very lucky. Oh, you're very lucky, Mary. You're very lucky. Oh. So there you go. <clears throat> now, other things I want to talk about, what's going to happen uh, during um, Christmas and even after Christmas? Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a January baby. <laughs> and usually um, when January comes up, I'm usually on holidays. Like that's not going to happen this year. Um, or I take a break from the channel. Uh, yes, you can. I have six people in my house. What's one more? <laughs> You're lucky. Um, and I'm thinking... In January, I won't be taking a break. I might take, you know, a few days here and there because there's nowhere we can go. Um, but I might do something fun, something a little different. It'll still be crochet related, but something a little different. So, and that's another thing. I should get my book. I'm just thinking far too much all at once. Get my book ready in case you wanted to make some discussions. Yes. Um, 
if there's anything interesting that you would like to see um, after Christmas, during, before, uh, or just after, not so much the first, the next two months, because we're going to be busy crocheting for Christmas. But maybe, um, or maybe the the week of Christmas or the week after Christmas, uh, New Year's. A lot of people who um, are home alone and would like, you know, a little bit extra fun. Is there anything fun, crochet related, that you would like to see on our channel during those times where, well, you don't get many visitors or you're on your own and you just want to see something? Okay. Is there something you would like to see around that time? Not now, we are talking the week of Christmas and the new year. All right, something fun. Um, hopefully this year I'll be able to see my sisters. Fingers crossed, we don't know. We don't know. I think I did Christmas here last year for the family. I think I did. Was it me? <laughs> I can't even remember because this year is such a blur. And you know what, I'm kind of a long-term memory person. So I'll remember something when I was like three years old. Um, and not remember what I did last night. Ask me in 30 years. <laughs> and I'll probably remember it then. <clears throat> but there you go. Uh, the holidays are going to be hard now. They're going to be very difficult. That's why I thought maybe I'll do a couple of funny videos added with the com with the crochet. So a bit of comedy, a bit of crochet. And I'll get them prepared now. And the week of Christmas, when we're all stuck at home and we're thinking, I can't do this and we can't do that. I'll pop those videos up and make you laugh a little. But... There'll also be crochet items in it as well. So it's all very crochet related gear. It's going to be a bit of fun. I'm going to put in what I think is funny. And then if you guys have anything you'd like to see, that's what the pencil's for and the paper's for, let me know and I'll write it down now. If not, don't stress. I'll just think of something like I always do because I'm a bit weird like that. Um, <laughs> did I say that out loud? I'm a bit weird. I'm a bit weird. I know. What do you do? You want normal? Talk to somebody else. Hello, Bonnie. You're here. Oh, we've been on for a very long time. Um, you always make us laugh. Look, I try. Um, who said that, Paula? Paula, look, I try because, you know, we are living in tough times and I know that sometimes a bit of a giggle goes a long way. And I know there are a lot of people out there who don't have big families who are on their own. Um, I actually know a lot of people who live on their own. Um, um, yes. Everyone's saying hello to Bonnie. Bonnie is the life of the party, in, in my in my opinion. And I don't even know her personally. We don't live together. She lives all the way in another country, America, I think. <laughs> I think you live in America. You live in America, right, Bonnie? <laughs> um, are you going to teach us? What am I going to teach you? Oh, hang on. Um, good idea. You're making it. What am I making? <laughs> Oh, Bonnie, I've missed something. What was the question? What am I going to teach you? <laughs> what? See, she's a life of the party. She's, she's having her own little party inside her head. Talk to me, Bonnie. What am I going to teach you? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bonnie, <laughs> I'm lost. We're all lost. Yeah. Cheers. Have a coffee. Oh. Speaking of funny... Um, the video for Halloween oh, <laughs> is coming along. Uh, well, it's not a video. I haven't started the video. I've started the writing. You know, I don't know. I take my hat off right for writers. It's taking me forever to write something up for this Halloween. I think I've only got about 10 minutes work. Um, <laughs> I think I've only got about 10 minutes worth of story. And I've been writing for months on and off. So I don't know how these writers do it because I'm trying to make it funny. Plus, I'm trying to add in things like, um, you know, crochet terminology. Teach us how to do that blanket. Oh, you mean this one, this one right here. The one you saw in the photo at the front. Oh, I know. Well, I don't know, honey. I am recording it. It's sitting in the back burner. I've heard nothing back from Fiber Spider. Right here. Georgia, USA. I knew it was somewhere <laughs> in America. I couldn't remember where. <laughs> Georgia, USA. I might have to write this down because I always forget. Yes, the kaleidoscope blanket. It is gorgeous. I cannot wait to finish it. This, I don't think, will take me long to finish. It's not going to be very big. It'll be like um, newborn size so that you can um, just, you know, a traveling blanket to put over baby when you 
in and out of car, that sort of thing. So it's more of a travelling. It's not a blanket that you wrap up. I mean, you could if you wanted to. I would prefer just as a travelling blanket something for the stroller or the pram, whatever you want to call it. Pusher, buggy, I don't know what you want to call it in your country. But we call them a stroller or a pram here. So something for baby to just keep warm popping in and out of the car. So it's not going to be a huge blanket, but it'll still be a good size and it'll be square obviously as you can see here um personally i'm still not happy with the light colors i would love to go dark red uh, i saw you holding the kaleidoscope yeah um look i did most of this last night i had started the square the other day and then just put it down didn't do anything with it but i did the rest of this part last night um no no you were seeing right <laughs> this is what i was holding I still haven't found my other one. I'm starting to think I might have sold it. Oh, I can't even remember selling it. But when I find the other one, it's totally different colours than this. It's like pinks and blues and it's, you know, a bit more um, soft, the colours. Whereas this is, is very standout in your face kind of look. So um, I am recording it as I'm doing it, but it's going to sit in the back burner just in case. Um, I can't learn. I want to learn. <laughs> uh, I would make the red stripes thicker yeah i was thinking that adding a, a darker red or a maroon or something as well to it like giving it an extra row of a different red um i need your help oh, you're so funny bonnie <clears throat> yeah i mean that's tiny at the moment but it'll be a good size just for, for baby to cover and again when it comes to sizing i know someone asked about sizing the other day it doesn't matter take a risk Make it, <clears throat> unless someone says to you, I need this size, make the size you want. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, talking too much now. <coughs> Excuse me. Make the size that you want. Um, really step out of your comfort zone, make the size that you want. You call it a stroller or car seat. Okay. Yeah, it can be used for the car seat as well. I prefer with car seats, if you can't see baby, don't give them anything they can put in their mouth. Blankets in the mouths, you know. If you can't see baby, I wouldn't give it to them. Um, unless baby's asleep. It's different, right? But if you can't see baby, mm, just be careful what you're giving baby. I mean, especially blankets. I'm fussy. I'm very fussy with anything for children. Very fussy with anything for crochet. I'm very fussy. <laughs> I'm such a fuss pot, aren't I? <laughs> but not with my cats, as you can see. <laughs> I don't care how cats turn out. I did like the bat. Have I mentioned that a few times? I love my bat. Yeah, I have. I might even give him a, a cute name instead of making him look evil because he's got these, you know, really dark, really, you know, small eyes. Um, won't get lost on the go. Ah, uh -huh, bold. Won't get lost on the go. Not wrong there. Anyway, for those who are on their own at Christmas and would like to see some fun stuff, let me know. Even if you don't let me know here, you can also, um, if you're not here at the moment, you can also leave a comment in the comment section down below of this video once um, it, you know, the live is over. You can leave a message there as well, just saying all the stuff that you would like to see between, we'll say between Christmas, we'll say from the 21st of December all the way into say the 5th or the 6th of January. So there'll be some fun stuff added in those times. There'll still be tutorials going up. But there won't be a lot, obviously. It's such a busy time. But every now and then I'll pop up something funny. It might be a long funny. It might be a small funny. Maybe I'll do another bloopers video. That's always fun. Um, but also if I want to add something just weird, like, you know, what I did with the Russian join thing where I, you know, drove over my little piece and stuck it in the washing machine and the dryer and put like 16 kilos of soap on it, that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> so I didn't really put that much, but there was a lot. Um, so, yeah. So anything you would like to see that's funny, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Night, everyone. Always fun. Dinner time. Enjoy your dinner, Cheryl. Lovely to have you here. Um, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Um, the bat is cool. I like the bat. The bat's the only thing I like. I'm lying. I do like the eye. I do like the eye. So leave a comment in the comment section down below telling me what you would like to see. Otherwise, I'll create something weird as I do. There is a video coming up. I keep telling everybody it's coming up, but I can't finish it until I can get out of get out of the house. <laughs> but I can't even tell you what it is because then it'll give away the reason for the video. Because that one line <laughs> tells it a reason for the video. So I can't tell you. 
until I am ready to do it. Uh, there's a temperature blanket. It's a lot of fun. Oh, temperature blanket. We talking blankets. Oh, I'll write it down anyway. Who, who said that? Uh, Maggie. Maggie Nazor. Maggie Nazor. Am I saying your name right? Nazor. 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 Maggie. You know, Maggie, the name Maggie was the name of a character I wrote in a book once. Yes, it was referred to someone else, but I called her Maggie, so no one knew who it was referred to. <laughs> so naughty. Uh, how about a magic knot test? Um, we could do the magic knot test. That's a good one. Um, oh, oh, what's that? I'm back. Oh, you're back, Blair. Good to have you back. Um, magic knot test. That's a good one. Knot test. Sticky stitch. Thank you. That's a good one. Um, let's come back here because I missed out what Maggie was saying. Temperature blanket. That's right. Temperature blanket. Big blankets. Oh, here we go again. I had to shave my husband's face. It's his face? Oh, that's unusual. Karen, how are you? Hope you are well. Temperature blanket. Sounds good. Um, yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, maybe you could take us with you to Unwind Craft Cafe. Uh, that is something that we are discussing. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. I didn't want to say too much about that. But anyway, uh, it's one row a day with a colour that depends on the day temperature. That's correct. I do know what it is. I've seen it. I've seen it out there. Um, yeah. It was on it. Okay. So with the um, the temperature blanket, that's, that's something that could be like a... I think it could be like a month thing. Like you pick one month and you do the temperature blanket of that month. So you do like 30 rows every day. You do a row, right? Or you can do two rows in, in the end of the week. But you get the temperature of that day. So if, it's really hard because Melbourne has like five temperatures in one day. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Here we have like, you know, first it's summer, then it's spring, then it's summer, and then it's autumn. And then it's a temperature no one even knows exists. It's a weird temperature. So in one day, Melbourne can be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> the weather here is all over the place so it's really hard for us uh having said that you pick the temperature that you like that might help what about a large basket or a rug well we are mary we are going to be doing the rug with that yarn up there i think bonnie has been waiting a long time for it and that rug is coming over the next few weeks until i get a size 15 millimeter hook i cannot start it but we are already doing the rug so we'll leave that uh is it with temperature yarn <laughs> it it's you use the color yarn of the day so if it's a hot day you use a i don't know an oranges or a reds or whatever color you feel is related to the heat how about doing a diaper bag well that's a good idea um uh, virginia's weather is very changeable pretty much the same as melbourne or shopping at spotty or something well i did do that in one of my um thrifty videos i showed you a video where i was running around spotlight trying to take yarn just got to be careful with that because some stores don't like you using video cameras in their stores it's kind of like a legal thing so i've got to be careful with that um there are some stores that ask me to come in can you please come in and take video because and they are smaller stores um because they need you know people to come in so they want exposure right but people like spotlight and that mm, don't know if they'll let you i could always ask it's not going to hurt to ask i can send an email off to some top knob in uh, Spotlight. <laughs> hey, what could happen? Shall we do it? Let's do it. Email Spotlight. I'll do it. Why? Why not? Email Spotlight. Email Lincraft. Email, email. Find out whether I can go in and do a video. What? <laughs> I wonder if they'll let me do it. What can they say? No? Okay. No problems. <laughs> email Lincraft. These are the two large... Um, craft stores here in melbourne for those of you overseas wondering who they are um i'm already talking to smaller stores so for those of you who mentioned someone mentioned before about unwind i'm already talking to a lot of smaller stores at the moment but because of the situation that we are in i can't do anything i might be able to work something out with unwind in the future that's not a problem we did have a chat once one of the ladies and i and we talked but then we got stuck with being stuck in the in our homes and nothing ever happened so there you go so that is something i would like to do i would love to go into stores um, i've already asked again a couple of smaller stores and i will be doing that after we are out and about again oh i just realized 
how this has fallen. <laughs> it's just fallen over the past few minutes. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's the same collapsed stand. I'm using the old one because I haven't bought a new one. Oh, wait, I have. It's in the mail. It's coming. I just forgot. We bought it this week. <laughs> we bought that this week. We bought something to help out with the lights this week. Um, it's free advertising for them, absolutely. And look, it's not going to hurt. And now's the time. I'm going to eat. That's it. I'm going to email. In fact, I'm going to email so much that I'm going to type it up straight after the show. There you go. Type up email. How's that? Straight after the show. And I will get my daughter, editor daughter, to edit it, and then I'll send it off. Yeah, it, it's advertising for everyone concerned. And now that we're heading towards an, a moment where we may be heading out, oh, sometimes I go out of the house and just for fun, I go, ah, oh, lights, lights. <laughs> oh, I'm so naughty. Imagine my neighbours must be thinking, oh, crazy lady, I'm the loose again. They do look at me funny because I take my stand outside for photos and sometimes I go in the driveway. Sometimes I go right out into the street to take the photos. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> okay. So that's that. Now also closer to Christmas, I forgot to mention, we will be doing um, some scarves for Christmas. And I'm also going to be introducing, just for fun, a summer scarf. As well as, because I know in some countries it's winter around Christmas, and I know in some countries like us here in Melbourne, it's summer. So there will be one summer scarf, one winter scarf, one summer beanie, and one winter beanie to match those scarves. I forgot to mention that, guys. But that's coming up over the next few months. Summer scarf and a beanie, matching beanie set. A little bit like a little set, as you, you know, like I like to do often. Um... And they are coming up over the next few months. They will be before Christmas. So you can use them as gifts to give to people. Now, I even thought of doing scarves for maybe even um, younger children as well. Maybe a 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, younger ones. But otherwise, we'll be doing normal adult scarves and adult beanies. So there you go. Beanie set. Yeah, um, so that's that. And I'm definitely going to send that email. The reason I'm writing is because I'm writing things I want to put in the email. <laughs> I'm so not, I'm, oh, see how I'm always thinking I'm talking to you and thinking about what's going to happen in that email <laughs> well look you know what Paula I when you say I'm thoughtful it it helps me out a lot to do these tutorials as well so it's kind of a win-win situation I get the tutorial out there it's one extra tutorial you get a, a gift out of it if you think about it um, <clears throat> I get something that I do pop some of these tutorials on my stores uh, for Christmas you should have uh do hand gloves see blair i'm not sure where you're from dear but if we did gloves for christmas it's summer here in melbourne nobody wants to wear gloves in in, in melbourne having said that i i won't say no to it it may happen in the future but right now we won't be doing that at this stage uh did you all do thumbs up i know i've got a lot of people do thumbs up so i'm very happy with that uh beanie set but you know what that little email i'm definitely sending what can they say no i uh, would love a shawl Oh, we're going to do shawl anyway to give as a gift, maybe for um for, for us adventurous beginner or immediate for us adventures. Uh, hang on, for uh, uh, adventurous beginners or intermediate. Hello, wake up, Mary. Do you think I know what I'm talking about here, sticky stitch? It's too early in the morning. I'm probably still asleep. The shower didn't do anything. It didn't wake me up. The coffee's not. Come on, even this cold coffee is not doing anything. <clears throat> To sit at Christmas meal in 40 degree. I mean, I to sit at a Christmas meal in 40 degree temperature. <laughs> I'm from Utah. That's right. You did mention that once before. So is it, what's it like um, in Christmas, uh, Blair? Is it hot there or cold in Christmas? Uh, I'm in Ontario and can't imagine Christmas in summer. Oh, I love Christmas in summer. I know you guys love it. It's a beautiful white Christmas. And by the way, I've never seen snow. I keep telling people that. One day I'll see snow. Um, I, well, I've seen it. You know, obviously on TV and photos and whatever else. But I've never touched snow. Never gone out to... Like, it, it snows in the, the, the mountainy side of Melbourne, but not in central. And a few weeks back, there was something about... Talk about snow. I never saw any. Um, the scarfets with collar... Scarfettes, scarfettes. Mm. We're definitely doing a shawl, by the way, Sticky Stitch. 
with collar because I wanted to do one. I want to wear one myself. See, I haven't worn a, sh a shawl in years uh, because I haven't got one. <laughs> Snow is lovely, but quite messy, is it, Paula? <laughs> cold, really cold. Oh, it's cold, Blair, where you're from. Oh, well. So that's why you want gloves. Uh, I don't celebrate Christmas, Karen, but hit Christmas is awesome. Uh, uh, great weather. Oh, here we go. Everyone's talking all at once now. Uh, great weather. You get to sit outside. Beautiful summer fruits. Yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, we have about six feet. Oh, wow. Um, someone wants a bandana cow. Oh, that's an interesting one. A bandana cow. I have to look that one up because I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to see. Oh, I see. That's like a, a hoodie cow thing. It's like a hoodie. Yeah, we could do that. Um, it's snow, yeah. Um, yeah, it's usually quite warm. I um, I don't remember a burning hot summer. I mean, I don't remember a burning hot Christmas day. I remember a warm one. Uh, get a lot of snow, six feet. Do you, Blair? Wow, a lot of snow, huh? Um, of snow and brr, very cold. <laughs> I know, right? Well, look, it happens, you know. I would love one day to see a um, winter Christmas. Um, where are you from? We're from Melbourne, Blair. Um, it's called the area is called Glenroy. It's a northern suburb of Melbourne. Never snows here in where I where I'm from. People said it snowed in wind in a couple of weeks ago here in Melbourne. I didn't see it. Uh, I love hot Christmas. You get to play with outside toys. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, Christmas. I I got what you meant. It's all right. Um, yeah, a hot Christmas is nice, and it's so nice that when you have the family over, if we can get them over this year, when you have the family over, if you want to do lunch outside. You can do it outside. It's gorgeous. Everybody sits around a table. We eat. We laugh. We put on seven kilos. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. How we, sometimes we get up and we dance. We do. It's been years since we've done that, though, because we're just old now. <laughs> Look, I, I dance while I'm working. And when everybody comes in the afternoon, I'm so tired. So I stop dancing until people come over. Okay, let's see what everyone say. Thank goodness we don't get that much snow, Blair. Oh, well, I wish we had a little bit of snow. That'd be nice. Damn, that autocorrect, huh? <laughs> don't worry about it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I notice that my autocorrect is not working at the moment, but I don't know why. Barbecues and swimming pool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right, Kaz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love a good sausage. I love sausages. <laughs> don't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> I know, I love... I'm not a big meat fan. I really don't take well to meat, but I do love sausages. Have you seen Christmas Story? It's cute. I've seen a lot of Christmas videos, a lot of Christmas videos. I love the Christmas ones. And, you know, every year, this sounds ridiculous, but we have a little thing here between myself and my kids and everything. Um, not my sisters, but just our little family here. We all sit around and we watch Scrooge. <laughs> They're, you know, not the old-fashioned black and white one, but... The one in the 70s or 60s, whenever it was, 70s, I think it was. Um, and we watch, uh, what's the other one we watch with Jim Carrey, the funny one? I'll think about it in a minute. <laughs> it's funny. We watch it every year and I still don't remember it. <laughs> we watched the two movies and we love them. They're funny. Um, and sometimes I fall asleep because I work a lot during the day getting everybody, you know, don't make their meals and we have a lot of fun and it's a real Christmas event. We have the table set up for Christmas. It's really, really a lot of fun. But then I fall asleep during the movies. <laughs> Everybody else watches the movies and I fall asleep. So there you go. These are the fun things we are going to see coming up before Christmas. We won't get them all up. That's not going to happen. Uh, Poppers and penguins. Poppers, penguins. Uh, Polo Express, really cute for Christmas. I like Polo Express. I like that. Scrooge is traditional. And it's traditional for our family. Grinch, that's it. Thank you, Blair. It's the Grinch. We watch Scrooge. And The Grinch by Jim Carrey, because I love Jim Carrey. Um, I love fun. I love comedy, you know that. Uh, every year on our Christmas, I think it's Christmas Eve here, we do it Christmas Eve, and the kids come and their partners come. I don't think the partners watch the videos with us. Sounds like my kind of Christmas. Oh, look, I love it. I love having um, my kids here. And when they are here and it's not Christmas, I do like to put on a good spread for food because I think, oh, my family's here all at once for one time. Oh, it's so exciting. And I get really shaky. I get very excited. And at the moment, even more excited because in a couple of weeks' time, I can have my daughter be here. I can't wait. It's going to be very good. I know, it's going to be 
Great. So we've got a lot of stuff coming up, guys. Apart from what we're doing at the moment, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Now, this stuff here, fingers crossed, <laughs> we might finish the poncho by the end of next week, but don't quote me on it. <laughs> he He's in the mask too, Jim Carrey. Oh, he's fantastic in the mask, isn't he? He's fantastic in the mask. I love him in the mask and I love him in uh, Evan Almighty or something. Is it Evan? Not Evan. Um, he did the uh, where he played God for a while. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I wanted to see him really doing that. Oh, wouldn't you love to be in that passage? No, no, you wouldn't. Um, we definitely get to see this guy finished either this week or next week at the same time as we're making Ace Ventura. It's fantastic. I love it. I love everything Jim Carrey is saying. Even his serious roles. They are quite interesting. Um, see, we've got sidetracked. Um, and you'll be getting the start. Christmas Carol's good. You'll be getting the start of the, not you, but the newbies will be getting the start of their poncho this week as well. So I'm trying to fit a lot in. Uh, fingers crossed I can. If I can't, you'll just have to wait another week for some stuff. But this is definitely going up this week. Part five, which is the final section of your poncho going up this week. And then we'll talk about what we're going to do with it, how to make it longer, how to make it shorter. Evan Almighty, that's right. How to make it shorter. Um, not shorter. What am I saying? How to make it long. How to make it shorter. How to make it longer. Then once we pop a border on, we're going to work out what we're going to do up here. Because this may not fit everyone. This may drop on your shoulders i'm finding it's dropping on my shoulder so it's too loose for me so we're going to find a way to tighten that up um it'll fit literally anybody except if you're tiny framed that's going to be really loose so we're going to find a way to tighten that up up the top it's not going to look stringently kind of tighten but it's going to close it up a little bit to keep it so it doesn't fall off your shoulders if you like the fall off the shoulder kind by all means leave it like that and you can pop a I'll show you how to just pop a single a crow, single crochets or half doubles or something um, up the top. But for the rest of us who want that tightened up, so even though I'm relatively, don't say that out loud, but big, um, round, robust, if you will, um, <laughs> my shoulders here are really quite low and they're from here to here, they're quite short because I'm a short-framed person. So that is too big for me. In fact, what I'll do, I'll show you what I mean. We'll, we'll change tops, yeah? We'll pop this on. So you can see what I mean by how uh, loose it is on me and how I want to fix it, all right? So here you go. Let me have a look. That's what it looks like. See how loose that is? And it drops off the shoulders. I'll, I'll pull it at the back so you can see it. There's the back and there's the front. I'm pulling them down both ways. But even though I'm pulling them down both ways, they still look. That's still very big. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that, how to tighten that bit up. For those of you who don't want it tightened up, all you need to do is do a row, and I'll tell you on the tutorial, do a row of that particular stitch, whether it's a single, half, double, double, I haven't decided what to use yet. <laughs> because I know I use the double for here, one of the double cluster sets for here. So maybe I'll use a double. I haven't decided, you know, if you have any answers that you would like to see, single, double, whatever, that's fine. But for the rest of us who, that is too tight, I mean, try too loose and that is too loose I'll show you how to uh, increase a little bit on certain areas where it won't be that noticeable and it'll just tighten up your work a little bit so there you go that's that I'm gonna put my other top back on because it's cool in here now <laughs> even with the lights on um, it's relatively cool <laughs> I think I might have had the top on inside out but don't tell anyone <laughs> don't tell anyone Shh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, fluffy Mary Fluffy. <laughs> Make pretty braided straps. A lot of people put straps on ponchos. <clears throat> um, I could leave spaces for you to put straps if you wanted to. I don't use straps. I don't like straps because I just don't like them. I don't like dangly things. I don't like, as you can see, I don't wear jewellery. No jewellery. Because I don't like anything dangling annoying me. Uh, do you have a bag that converts to a blanket pattern? Oh, you mean you can use the stitch from the bag to make the blanket? Or you mean the actual bag turns into a blanket? You're going to have to elaborate there. Um, what was your name? Punkin. Punkin. Uh, <clears throat> you need a heater in there to keep you... I've got the heater, but I turn it off during the lives because sometimes those heat lamps are so... The lights, you see, 
they're so hot that it gets too hot, turns into a blanket. It's a bag and then it turns into a blanket? Is that what you mean? I'm thinking that's what you mean. I mean, all you could do is just do, you know, a rectangle, pop it together, put some buttonholes and buttons on it, and then take the buttons undone. That's easy. You just add buttonholes to one side and buttons on the other side. So you close it up. Maybe. Cinch it up, yeah. And then you can just take the buttons undone and then it's a blanket. If that's what you mean, pumpkin, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm guessing that's what you mean. Uh, it's only 12 degrees here on the peninsula. Really? <laughs> Actually, I don't know what the weather is out there because I have do have the heater on. It's just not on a lot. I do tend to turn it off during the lights. I don't know if I... I don't think I turned it off today either. So these heat lamps, these lights you see, they're not doing their job. <laughs> Usually they make me overheated. Well, I'm not wearing a lot. I'm wearing just a T-shirt and, and this thing. And I've got my jeans on, but, you know, it's... You know, T-shirt's really not... I've got my arms exposed there you go so guys that's it that's all i wanted to talk about today it's been an hour and 20 minutes guys <laughs> um the usual naughties aren't here today what's going on you want a hooded blanket oh that's oh i see for um a young one not a hooded for an adult <laughs> that would look weird <laughs> hello <laughs> um well no but hey look that could be like one of those um capes like a hooded cape. Ooh. A cape, caplet, caplet. Uh, I've seen the blanket that turns into a bag. Oh, I see. There's actually a blanket that turns into a bag. L let me do my homework on a pumpkin. Let me do my homework. Um, it's not something I've heard of, so I don't know what you're on about. But let me, when I say let me do my homework, it means I have a look around and we'll see what, what we can find. Okay. And what do we call it? A bag that turns into a, a blanket. I've never seen it, but hey. It's always a new thing for me. <laughs> I'm going to call it a blanket bag with a drawstring, is it? Oh, that's interesting. Drawstring. Ah, we'll keep it in mind. I'll have a look-see. Okay? We will see what I can see and I will let you know. And it was Punkin. Or Punkin. I'm not sure how you pronounce your name. Punkin. Or pumpkin. Uh, kin. I N. Question mark. Big question mark there. Have you done like kits to put your needle in to keep them safe and secure? I was going to do a little, um, like a little bag for our crochet hooks and have it with a zip and line it as well. If you, I was going to do that actually during our Christmas time. Um, <clears throat> for our crochet hooks, yeah? Um, literally, I was going to make it for my crochet hooks, so I thought, why not? Um, are you leaving, Mary? Hi. Uh, I know people that do that. Oh, if you're going, Mary, I'll say goodbye. Um, Leslie's sewn, not seen. Okay, gotcha. Uh, cap sounds good. Cap, yeah, capulet, I was thinking, capulet. Um but I was going to make a little crochet, like a crochet bag with a zip and line, but not a bag. It's like a little pouch. It looks like a pencil case, if you will. So it's kind of like a pencil case. It'll have a zip. Um, I don't know whether we do it with granny squares. I don't know whether we do it with a, a nice fancy stitch. Um, I am looking forward to, <gasps> I wasn't going to mention this. I was going to wait till next week, but I will bring it up. In the next couple of months, looking forward to adding, um, Oh, what even? Oh my gosh, I've just had a mental blank. Oh, cape sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, okay. A cap or a cape? <laughs> cape. What? No capes. <laughs> okay. Um, beads. That's it. I couldn't get it out. <clears throat> Adding beads to some of our work. But I can't do it now because I haven't got any. So I've got to get some. Um, yeah, how about do you do pet beds? Uh, I don't. Um, hang on a sec, Blair, and I'll answer you. Hi, sorry, this is off topic, but I just found your crochet videos last week and i'm a huge fan um love your positive energy and you make me laugh so often and who is that nadia i hope i said your name right nadia welcome welcome to wow crochet i've not seen you here before like you said you just found us last week welcome uh glad to have you here and i'm glad i make you laugh look i try for these really hard times to make people laugh 
what is that maggie i don't know what that means i don't know what the image is um uh she's great isn't she ah thanks bonnie maggie what does that mean maggie nazur has put this thing they look like looks like a v i don't know what that means looks like a v could be a hook could be the letter v oh it's an unusual thing maggie tell me what that means <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Looks like you've drawn something, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. Look, um, I think I'm spending more time this year trying to make people laugh than any other year. I did put more tutorials up this year on purpose because I knew where we all were. We're all at home. and knew we needed that extra support while we're at home. It has made me work harder. <laughs> Sorry, my kitten just passed over the keyboard. <laughs> I love kittens, <gasps> dogs more than anything, but I do love kittens. Uh, no cake on the cape. <laughs> Body, <laughs> yeah, you're making me laugh. <laughs> um, but a cape, I can't imagine doing a cape. Look, they're, 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 they're old fashioned, whether anybody would wear it, whether anybody would want to see that, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> trying to wink. I know, I was trying to work out what happened there. I wonder what letter your cat stood on <laughs> for that little thing to come up. How about doing a crocheted case for cakes? Uh, I don't know if you can do that, Blair. <laughs> you mean the cake holder, cake carriers that carry the cakes? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so imagine getting <laughs> yarn in your cake. <laughs> you would have to have like the carrier case and then you would put the carrier case inside the yarn case maybe but you couldn't put the the cake in there by itself no <laughs> i could see <laughs> the cake with all this yarn in it she's trying to make a face oh was she i have no idea what was it that hit the keyboard i'd like to know what it was so i can put that on <laughs> i think maggie cake yarn <laughs> cake yarn i gotcha <laughs> Oh, pardon the pun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, now I've got sidetracked again. So we're thinking about, um, I don't know about a cape, we'll see. A cat chatter? Cat, a cat catcher? A cat hatter? I had a cat. I don't know, you'll have to, I'm, I'm confused now. I'm all tongue twisted. <laughs> what are you going to have to elaborate? I'm tongue twisted. Blah, 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 blah. Tongue's all over the place. <laughs> You don't know what rolls off this tongue when it starts going. <laughs> I could just imagine the cat and the, and the cake and the <laughs> old fashioned sounds good. <laughs> Look, I would wear them. I wear weird stuff. Now, I, there was some. There was a challenge that Kaz has asked me to do, and I've decided I'm going to do it. Kaz, by the way, I should have brought it up earlier. I forgot all about it. Um, Kaz has asked me to do, she's challenged me, um, I think it was Kaz, it might have been someone else, I can't even remember now, has challenged me to do the, um, ten, I don't know if it's 10 things or things that I are not crochet related that I love. Shawls. We are doing a shawl, Blair. Blair, we are definitely doing a shawl in the future, the next few months. I don't know when, um... Let me dress. Uh, yeah, you sound glad you are here. <laughs> yeah. So I want to do um, the video tutorial. It's not a tutorial. It's just a video on things that are not crochet related that I like. Okay. Um, you already know some of them, so that's fine. I'm not going to talk about them now because I'm going to do a full video on it. And I will do that and that will be coming up over the next week or so, either this week or next week. I haven't really decided. It'll pop up when it pops up. You know, it's going to be one of those things that just comes out just for fun. Um, in there, if I have any bloopers, I don't think I've got any bloopers at the moment. That's funny. I've been working really well. <laughs> Stand hasn't fallen. I haven't pinned myself. You know, I haven't done anything major. Maybe when I get tongue-tied, uh, it would go good with the beanie you made for Halloween. Oh, the cape. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, Ten non-crochet things about you like... A get to know me. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, we could do that. Yeah, we could do that. I, I might take that challenge up. Uh, cat chatter. What is a cat chatter? What's a cat chatter? <laughs> I'm gonna write it down. And look it up. I got a lot to do. Are you giving me a lot of homework, guys? This is too much. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the principal on you. <laughs> K 
chat chatter. <laughs> For those of you not sure what a principal is, kind of like a dean in universities. <laughs> He's the boss man at, at schools. <laughs> I'm telling my principal on you. <laughs> Teachers give me too much hard work. <laughs> okay, too much homework. <laughs> what is a cat chatter? I have never, ever heard of one. What is that? Bonnie, you have to elaborate. <laughs> he loves chatting all the time. Oh, I see. Cat walked across the keyboard catcher. Hello, wake up. Mary's still sleeping. <laughs> Everybody out there is having a fun and Mary's sleeping in the background. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we could do some fun stuff coming up very, very soon. Soon. And I will do that email. I've decided I'm going to email directly after this live. Why? I got nothing to lose. I got an email that just goes, click that little button and off it goes. <laughs> Although it might take me a while to type it up because I'm a bit of a nerd. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> Welcome to our crochet. <laughs> Shall I use that voice? <laughs> oh. All right. So that's what's happening over the next few months. We have a lot going on. Uh, are there any questions about the projects that we have been doing? Uh, let me know. Please leave your questions in the comment section down below if you do not make the live but you would still like to ask. If you don't like to do that publicly, you're welcome to send me a private message. Uh, I know quite a few people who already do, so that's not a problem. Um, thank you for the live, Mary. It's been a lot of fun as usual. Thank you for joining me again, Lewis, in the background, nice and quiet that you are. <laughs> um, but if there, the cat walked across the keyboard, I got it, yeah. Um, but if there is anything else you would like to see, please, by all means, even if we haven't discussed it in the live, you can leave your questions in that comment section down below or send me a private message on Facebook or send me a private message on Instagram or go into my madeit.com.au stores, or go into Etsy, or whatever. <laughs> Send me information. Uh, oh, you're late. We're ready to wrap up, Kiki. Oh, oh you got a migraine. Sorry, honey. I hope you feel better soon. Oh. You may be sad now. <laughs> I was doing so well. <laughs> I was so happy. I did miss you. You and Franca's missing again. Franca missed last week's as well. Oh, Franca, I hope she's okay. Oh, dear. I hope she's feeling well with her foot. Um, yeah, oh, we've just, look, honey, we've just done an hour and 20, oh, oh, my gosh, an hour and 32 minutes. I don't know if I can stay any longer. I don't know how these people do it for three or four hours. I don't know how they do the lives for three or four hours. At some stage during the day today or tomorrow, I would be popping on Instagram, by the way. So keep your eyes peeled. I'll be doing a live on Instagram. Um, I forgot to mention that earlier, too. I don't know what is wrong with my brain. So much I want to say, and I can't forget yeah, got to write this stuff down, I tell you. I'd already written some of it down. Um, yeah, oh, I hope you feel better. Oh, dear. Um, so some stage today or tomorrow, you will see me on Instagram. It'll be a short video. It won't be as long as these one and a half hours that we do here. <laughs> um, but you will see me on Instagram. Or even I've considered recently doing a couple of lives on Facebook because I do have a lot of followers on Facebook. Who don't get to see me very often so i may do a live on facebook as well but you will see me on instagram over the next few days so keep your eyes peeled um and if there are any new followers who or new subscribers or new wherever it is that we are doing those lives if you have questions and you're too shy to do them do private message me it's okay i don't mind the private message sometimes it takes a while to get back to you because i do get a lot um, but I will respond at some stage or another. <laughs> Whether it's a small response or a large response, I will respond. Okay? So, guys, I'm sorry, Kiki, you missed out. But, Kiki, just so that we're wrapping up, I just wanted to show everybody the kaleidoscope blanket that I'm trying to get um, um, Fibre Spider to respond. He hasn't. I've started recording. I'm going to pop it in the back burner. Uh, if he responds and everything's okay, I will go ahead and make it. And you'll get the tutorial. If not, it'll sit in the back burner. It'll just sit there. Um, also, we are finishing part five of our poncho. Doesn't mean the poncho's finished. It just means that section's finished. And then I'll talk to you about what we're going to do after that. Oh. And as you know, we finished this guy right here. We are going to be starting our um, crochet top. A big lacy, open lacy top this week as well. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> Once again, we've had a lot of fun. Bit of a giggle, bit of silliness on my part. It happens. Um, 
Uh, that's so cute, the granny square. I know, right? I love it a lot. It's it's actually my favourite blanket to make. Believe it or not, the kaleidoscope blanket is my favourite blanket to make. So I cannot wait for it to grow. Um, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to head off and get some crochet done, as you do. <laughs> and I have to type up those emails. Oh, very exciting. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put the pen down. And I would like to say, as I usually say at the end of all my videos, Ciao for now. Everyone enjoy your weekend. I will see you on Wednesday. Maybe see you on Instagram. Maybe see you on Facebook Lives as well. Ciao for now. Have a good weekend. Bye.